All right, let's continue our coverage here tonight at 1014. We're going to head to our Jonathan Mejia, who is northwest in northwest Houston off of Oak Forest neighborhood. He's going to give us some details over there. Jonathan. Yeah, we're just, you know, hearing about the down power lines, the down trees. And right here, I'm in the Oak Forest neighborhood where you can tell right behind me, you're going to see an uprooted tree that has fallen over this garage, completely destroyed it. And the home back over here, we're seeing uh, a, a tree that fell down there and actually had a woman trapped inside. I'm here standing by with several neighbors that have witnessed the entire scene. And I'm going to actually interview one of them live. I'm here with Eugene. Eugene, you know, talk to us about those moments where you saw your neighbor being pulled out of her home. Well, the, the storm came through and the trees came down and it lasted for a, quite a while. The power went out and it wasn't until the storm passed where the neighbors all came outside. And when we came outside looking at all the damage, the caregiver for the woman who lives there was coming down the, the sidewalk and she went inside and immediately came out of the house telling us to come help her because the tree had fallen on the back on the bedroom where she was in and the ceiling completely came down on her bed and covered her so we had to take the debris off of her clean her off and couldn't get uh, uh, phone service so we were trying to call 911 everybody along the street was trying to relay and get phones and, and call and finally they got 911 service here but it took a while and Eugene I know I've spoken with you know other neighbors here that are pretty shaking up about this entire situation how was it for you just seeing your neighbor there on the ground trying to you know rescue her and, and get her there just shocking moments it was traumatic but she's gonna be okay so that's what matters and you mentioned, you know, we talked about down power lines, so obviously we're not getting self-service here. Um, how difficult was it to even get a hold of, you know, EMS? It, it was, I mean, nobody had cell service. So without the neighbors, everybody helping, this would have been, this could have ended really bad. But, you know, the, the, everybody came out and we helped us move the debris and then move the woman out from underneath because the tree was still pretty much coming through and hanging over her bedroom. You could see the sky through her bedroom. So we had to get her and move her, but she was she was she was okay, uninjured, seemingly uninjured, but she was covered in, you know, debris and everything. And so once we realized that she was going to be okay, everybody kind of relaxed and felt better. So nobody's hurt on the street, so that's what matters. And we know that wind was gusting, you know, 80 to 90 miles per hour. When you hear those numbers, uh, what comes it's to like mind? A hurricane. I mean, this re this reminds me of Ike, what we went through at Ike, coming out and seeing all the trees down. The thing was, we just didn't really have a notice. The weather, you know, said we might have some chance of rain, thunderstorms, but we didn't know this was coming. Eugene, thank you so much. Now back out here again, just again, want to take you and give you another last live look at the damaging impact that we're seeing here in the northwest part of Houston in the Oak Forest uh, neighborhood. Again, just uprooted trees, down power lines, down trees. And thankfully, that uh, neighbor is, uh, you know, doing well, just had to clean her up from debris. But thankfully, you know, she's alive because we have reported and confirmed, as we heard Mayor John Whitmay, that there have been four casualties. And thankfully, this elderly woman uh, was not a part of that number. All right, Jonathan Mejia reporting live for us there. Thank you.